our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to be doing my second ever cook in the uni carry but not with the wood burner it's going to be with the gas burner so I'm going to take all this off replace it with the uni 3 gas burner or the one that was designed originally for the uni 3 I'm going to put it on there first thing I need to do is take this chimney off So you put this in, oops, you put it in like that for the gas. So it's all ready that way. All I need to do now is change the back. that doesn't come out that way and it doesn't come out that way either I've got to oh, it's gone purple oh, pink pink color okay so I need to grab this out with the glove it's still warm and it's got a lip Here's my gas burner. I need to get that in there. Oh, it's relatively straightforward. <laughs> okay, that's on. Ready to go. Just need to get my gas bottle, stick the regulator on there. Okay, the regulator's done and now I'm ready to make the pizza. So this is my second ever cook. Oven still looking quite clean actually, considering uh, my first cook, the mess I made inside. This should be coming up to temperature now. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, what shape is that? Let me just try and get into shape before I put it in. Make sure that it can slide off the peel. Right, it's it's sliding, so let's get... Oh, no, I'm not. Let's turn it down. I need to absolutely burn it. Okay, I think I've turned that quite a lot down. See that flame? Yeah. I'm going to go with that, and if I think that's too much, I will turn it down again. I mean, that might be too low. I think it's really hard when it's your first cook to just to, to sort of find out where the flame and uh, everything should be. I think once you get used to an oven. I think that looks just about right, actually. It doesn't... Uh, Seems to be cooking it nicely, even though my pizza's got a weird shape. Let's 
see. Is it not cooking it at all? No, I think I might need to put it on a bit higher. just a little bit higher because I think that it's um, hey, just a little bit <laughs> yeah that's working interesting to see that this is cooking nicely. No need for a flame guard. Ooh. Done. Proof dough, no fridge proof. Run out of time. Nice base. Mmm, really crispy base. This gas gave a better, like, even cook on the stone than the the wood that I just used, which kind of overcooked it in the middle, which was really interesting. Rather than the crusts, I've never experienced that before. But yeah, nice base cook, nice and crunchy, very even. Very happy with this. That's the um, that must have been the rim that touched the top. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go out now, show go back to the oven. But it is on my only second ever cook with this oven, so I'm gonna go back out and tell you what I think of this gas fired cook. So my overall impressions are, after my first ever cook with a gas burner in the Unicari and my second ever cook in the Unicari, I love the fact that you can switch over to gas and switch over to charcoal or wood because you've got that portability and carry it anywhere. I'm very, very pleased. I think that if you just buy the coder because of the gas, this is going to be... Ah, you know, the coda and this one, because the gas cooked the pizza really well, this is a really cool oven. 
I'm not sure if I've ever read the leaflets before and so maybe this is something that's on the other ovens and I haven't picked up but I just wanted to point out one thing that I saw in the leaflet that comes with this oven. It says that the Unicari has been designed to run at up to 500 degrees centigrade, 932 degrees Fahrenheit. And if your oven exceeds this temperature, simply stop adding fuel. You can also remove the hatch to lower the temperature. Now, for me, I'm going to find that really hard because I think I can easily get my oven using wood um, up to 550 degrees at the back. And so I... I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm going to manage this and I just wanted to ask anybody who's got the Unicari um, how they are managing to keep the oven at, to make sure that it doesn't get more than 500 degrees centigrade when they're using wood. This won't apply to the gas. I think the gas you can pretty much sure it'll stay below 500. So please let me know in the comments below if you how you manage to keep this oven at 500 degrees. That's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. So I hope you enjoyed this vid, hope you found it useful. If you are thinking of buying a pizza oven and you were leaning towards maybe a gas one only, maybe think about a wood, charcoal and gas fueled oven because this one does all three and I love it. So keep safe everyone, take care, bye. And don't forget to check out our website gottoeatpizza.com, link is below.